Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Queen and Company just released some new die and stamp sets that make it so easy for creating amazing cards. They can be used alone or combined with any of their fun card kits. There are two foundation die sets and they all have a nice faux stitching detail on them. And you can just use all of these pieces to easily assemble a card. There are tags and these little banners that are perfect for all the sentiments and then stars and flowers for some nice embellishment on your cards. And then next up are two sentiment stacker sets. And these each have a small stamp set. And some of these sentiments can be used alone. You wouldn't necessarily have to combine them with the dies, but it's a lot of fun to combine. So here's one that has mom, so it has the, the word, and then it has the outline. And then you can stamp like, it's wonderful, or you're awesome to go along with that die. So a big variety of different sentiments that'll be perfect for year round. I was really excited to see all these new sets. So I made three different cards showing different ways that you can use them. So starting on card number one. Now, most people that follow me know I love to use card sketches, but one really nice thing about these foundation dies is you don't necessarily need to use a card sketch to make a really fun card. There are so many different dies included in these sets that you can easily use them to create your own card design. I used a tone on tone design for the background of my card and then cut out this large banner using the diagonal striped paper. I cut the circles out of just some blue cardstock and also this gray chevron pattern paper. And so now I'm gonna add the little penguin that comes in the all bundled up kit. So it's designed to be a shaker, but you can also make it as a non-shaker because it is just adorable. So I use some of the pattern paper to cut out the main body of this little penguin and then just some white pearlescent paper for his, his head and his face and his body. And then I'll just glue on his little beak and the little eyes. And they are pretty tiny, so I'm using a little jewel picker tool to help place those down. And now I just used one of the many little stitched banners that fit the sentiments perfectly. I think this is my favorite part of the whole die set. I love having the little stitch banners for all of the different sentiments. So I wanted to pop it up just a little bit, so I am using some more of this dark blue cardstock. I'm just adding a thin matting around it. Now I'll go ahead and just use some of my ATG and attach that to my card. And then before I do any further embellishments, I'm gonna add that to my card base, leaving just that thin white border around there. And one thing I like to do with some of the small pieces of pattern paper is just add a thin piece on the inside of the card. So now I've used a few of the other sentiments. So this is the word welcome. So I have the outline of the word and then also just the letters. So it adds just a little extra matting and makes that word really pop out. So I'll just use some liquid adhesive and attach all of those letters. So now the little sentiment is welcome sweet little one. So this will be a perfect little baby card for a little boy. Then I'm just going to pop that up just a little bit using some of these thin foam squares. And then using the smallest star die and some glittery foam, I cut out just that little embellishment there. And I love that even those little stars and the flowers have the stitching on them as well. And now I'm just going to add some of the clear bubbles. And I wasn't sure where I wanted to put them, so I'm kind of fussing with them a little bit. And then even after I finally placed them, I changed my mind. So now I'm gonna, I fix them here, you're not gonna see it, but, so I put them in a little different place and then I decided it needed just a little something else. So I used that same sentiment banner and just cut some small flags, some little, little banners out of it with two different colors of cardstock. So that is my first card. 
Now moving on to card number two. The papers are from the Flirty Florals collection, and then I chose both of these diagonal strip dies. So one of them is about an inch and a half wide, and the other is just a little over an inch. So I use three different pattern papers from the collection, and then I'm just adhering those on to some white pearlescent cardstock. And then using some pink cardstock from my craft room, I cut out that scalloped rectangle. And then I'm using some of this foam to cut out the sentiment as well as the matting that goes around it. So this is the word mom. And then I'm just pulling off the backer because this is actually all self-adhesive, at least the, the glittery foam is. And then I'll use some liquid adhesive to attach that gray foam on to that pink scalloped piece. And then I just cut out another one of the sentiment banners and then adding the Your Wonderful sentiment on there. And just using some black ink. I want to make sure I get a lot of ink on there so I get a good impression. And then I'll just adhere that right below the mom word. And then using another one of the pattern papers that comes in the Flirty Florals collection, I cut out a variety of the little flowers. So there's three different sizes. But first I'm gonna go ahead and attach that sentiment box, just using some foam dimensional tape. And I make sure to get fairly even coverage so I don't want any of it to be sagging. And then once I get that adhered, I'll put that card front onto a card base. And for this card, I'm actually not leaving any of the white border. I'm just going to let those pattern papers go all the way to the edge. And I'm just using the largest and the medium size flower and just glued the two together. And I'm just going to adhere it in that upper left hand corner of the sentiment box and then the two small flowers in that lower corner. And then just to add a little bit of bling, I pulled out those clear bubbles again. I'm just putting one in the middle of each of the flowers. And then last, I'll put just that thin piece of the pattern paper on the inside of the card. So that is card number two. So now moving on to card number three. The pattern paper is from the Merry and Bright collection. So I thought it would be fun to make a Christmas card in February. I don't think I've ever made one quite that early before. But this paper pad is so fun because it has a variety of different colors in it, including this pink and turquoise, which are definitely not traditional Christmas colors. I used some coordinating glitter paper to cut out this larger banner. And then I used one of the pattern papers to cut out the scallop circle and then just some more of this white pearlescent paper to cut out that inside circle. And I'll just go ahead and adhere those to my card. And then using that same pattern paper, that turquoise color, I cut out the matting of, for the words, for the sentiment, and then use some more of this glitter foam for the actual sentiment. And so since this foam is adhesive, I'm just removing the backing and then piecing them all onto this outline die cut. And there is a sentiment stamp that coordinates well with this little saying, so it says merry and bright, but I decided not to use the stamp this time because the die works just fine without it. So once I get all of those placed on there, I'll just use some adhesive to glue the whole sentiment on to that circle die cut. Overall, I did keep this card design fairly simple, and that's what's so fun about these foundation dies, is you could make them pretty fancy, add a lot of little extra embellishments, or you could keep them fairly simple and still have a nice looking card. So I do want to add just a few little embellishments. So I pulled out the stars again and I cut two of them out of this diagonal striped paper and then one of them again out of this glitter foam. So I'm just going to adhere two of those in the upper corner and one in the lower corner. And then again, I'll pull out those clear bubble bling and just add one on the inside of all of the stars. Then I decided to add two more just on the edge of the sentiments. 
and that is card number three. The new foundation dies and sentiment stacker sets are a lot of fun, and I know I will be using them quite a bit. It's nice since they will work well with all the Queen & Company kits. I have provided links to all the sets in the description box if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.